Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle talk show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. Fun is one of my three values in life. Everybody likes to have fun, but how we express that fun is different for everybody. On this episode, we're going to talk to Misa on Wheels about how she has fun through cosplay and how she has incorporated her disability into having fun. But before we jump into that interview, I want to remind you to please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to join my community, you can do that through my private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. If you like what you see here, please support us at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Hi, Misa. Thank you so much for joining Chair Chats today. Hi, it's so great to be aboard. I am so excited. You are, I did introduce you as someone that enjoys having fun through cosplay. Um, and I am going to age myself a bit because I am not that familiar with the cosplay world. So, um, and there may be people watching who also may not be familiar. So I'd like to take the time for um, our audience to be able to get to know you and what cosplay is. Um, kind of like what cosplay entails is really just dressing up and having fun as, you know, fictional characters, whether that be from video games or movies, superheroes, and um, whether that's at a convention or on one's own time, it's, it's definitely a huge hobby nowadays. So cosplay is short for costume play, and you are dressed up today. Thank you. I was hoping you would dress up. Yeah. Um, and so if you can tell us a little bit about your character. Definitely. So actually, it was midsummer, and I've kind of been stuck inside a lot due to the whole situation. I'm up in New Hampshire, so we're kind of still in lockdown mode a bit. Um, so I haven't really been able to get out that much and enjoy the summer. So I decided to just kind of go with a mermaid outfit today. So, um, <laughs> so what I did, um, and I call this uh, closet cosplay. Um, I kind of just went in and I said, you know, what do I feel like wearing today? It's not a particular character from an anime or show. Um, it's kind of just my own creation. So I kind of put this together. I had, um, I cosplay mermaids a lot. Um, I usually have like my big tail, but we can't see that in the video. So I didn't wear that, <laughs> um, which is nice because when you're sitting down and rolling around, you don't have to worry about stepping on it and you can get from place to place. Um, I um I'm normally a brunette, but I'm rocking the blonde hair today, and I actually uh, made my little starfish decor a while ago. Um, so I want to show that up. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I, you know, I wanted to find out a little bit about how you got into cosplay. I mean, it's getting so popular these days. I feel like on TikTok, there's all these little videos of people doing cosplay and there's so much fun. And I love seeing everybody's creativity, but um, you have, you were born with a disability. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about that? And then how your journey was to get into the cosplay world. Definitely. So I was born with Charcot Marie Tooth Muscular Dystrophy. I was diagnosed when I was two and I started using a wheelchair by the time I was 10. Um, it's always kind of just been a part of my life. Um, there wasn't really like a big transition period. It was really kind of, I always had that knowledge growing up that, you know, one day I'm going to need a chair. This is, you know, how it's going to be. Um, and in terms of getting into cosplay, um, I had gone off to college and met a bunch of awesome people and they decided they were going to go to an anime convention and I'd never done that before and I was kind of terrified at first <laughs> and um, I started doing my research and um, that's when I found out about cosplay 
and I remember just being in awe of that and not really sure where to go and like like what am I gonna do I can't pick a character like huh so um it actually um it turns out that that summer I was watching a show an anime called Death Note and there's a character called Misa and I absolutely fell in love with her. I thought she was like the cutest thing ever. She's this little blonde goth girl. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's what I'm gonna cosplay. So that is, um, that's kind of how it started. And um, so that being said, I decided to go to the convention dressed as Misa. And of course, you know, I'm rocking my wheelchair. And um, <laughs> so, one of my now good friends was like, wait, you're Misa, but you're on wheels. So I'm going to call you Misa on wheels. And that's where my nickname came from. And everyone started calling me that. <laughs> it's so catchy. It is like <laughs> Misa on wheels. And you have a Facebook group um, or a page that people can find you on. And what do you do on that page? Definitely. So my page, first of all, started as like a way for people to keep in touch with me and, um, you know, be able to share costumes like after a convention instead of like, you know, my personal account, you know, they could find me on the page. So it started out that way, then kind of as it went on, I would say within the first year, um, kind of a big part of why I started and like what I do is I love cosplay so much and it brought so much joy to me. And like one of the most significant things is, you know, whether you have a disability, no matter what you look like, it's it's literally for everyone. Like everyone can enjoy it. There's no wrong way to cosplay. So my page kind of became kind of the epicenter of cosplays for everyone. So that that's really my page message. And I've like since then it's kind of evolved into this huge thing and kind of a way to keep spreading positive messages and just good stuff throughout the community. So it's it's definitely better than I could have ever asked for besides just like, you know, a page to share costumes on. It's become so much more. So it it's developed a community. Exactly. Definitely. And like um just just like it it's so strange when people like know my name or recognize me like at conventions like folks I've never met before and they're like you're me on wheels I shared your post last year and I'm like it's so cool it's so cool <laughs> they're fangirling you <laughs> and it never stops being awesome and they're just like the nicest people so I, I love that <laughs> Uh, is there a certain profile of people that would enjoy cosplay? That's a good question. I would say really anyone, like anyone who wants to get into it. Like you have so many different types of people within the hobby. Like I remember um, kind of being surprised running into friends at work, like really like very professional, kind of like, um, like, you know, very like straight lace, um, someone you'd never like expect or stereotype, you know, not that that's right, but like, you know, to fit the model of, you know, what a cosplayer is. Like a lot of the time I feel like people have this idea that it's either, you know, the younger population or it's, you know, either supermodels or, you know, geeky kids that live in their parents' basement, but it's absolutely not true. It's, it's everyone. Not that those people aren't awesome anyway, but like, it really is. Like, I would say, like, you'd be surprised if you go to a convention or actually like look into like what people do for a living. You have such a diverse background in the cosplay world. It's really cool. Interesting. So like your daytime normal, part, like you as Amanda would be very different from like kind of like your alter ego Misa on wheels. I would say so. I mean, um, personality wise, no, because it's, it's all just a man, not our me on wheels. But like, I would say, um, you know, if someone were to see me at a convention, my physical appearance wise, you know, whether I have like bright pink hair or something, it's just, yeah, I would say there's definitely a difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, I, I feel like cosplay is one of those things you don't, um, want to just fade out into the background it's like people do the costumes so they so it brings attention to them and it like it's big and out there and so people will look and be entertained by it so are you know that takes a certain kind of personality too to be willing to like put yourself out there 
Um, I, do you feel like people at Cosplay are pretty well accepting of people with disabilities? Definitely. I would say even from the first convention that I did, um, I really didn't know what to expect going into it. And I was very nervous, um, you know, just, you know, being in a wheelchair and growing up, like you're used to different comments, you're used to stares, but like, especially at a convention where you're like extra putting yourself out there. And I'm like rocking the blonde wig and I have these like stripy tights and like a plaid schoolgirl skirt and like this gothy look. And like, my dad's like, have fun. And he drops me off. I'm like, okay, all right. But like from the moment I went through the door, like just, they're, they're, there are very few times in my life where I feel like people saw me and not just the chair, saw the chair right away. And I feel like it was like from that second of like going in there and just like seeing people and like, like just accepting like, look, these are people who love the same hobbies. We love the same stuff. And I feel like it's been just one of the most accepting communities and awesome in that way. So it's definitely nice. been good. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Um, and what is it about cosplay that you love that lights you up? Oh man, I would say seeing the same people, um, you know, convention after convention, we've all kind of grown up with it. And like, you know, these people I've known for over a decade now. And I would say, you know, between like showing off costumes and surprising each other and um, just really not knowing what to expect. Like, oh wow, you have, you know, you have armor on today or you're a totally different person or you're coming to give me a hug and you're wearing a mask and I have no idea who you are. Like it's just that element of surprise and it's just so much fun, just the whole environment of it. Oh, that's amazing. So costumes, creativity, connection, community, equals mm -hmm. cosplay. <laughs> exactly. Like, I feel like cosplay is one of those things where it goes so far beyond, you know, just the costume. It's the whole community. It's the, you know, the whole, like, togetherness aspect of it. Like, we're coming together to, you know, dress up like Superman because we love Superman, not just, oh, it's a costume. Like, it's, just, it's awesome. That is so cool. Um, Misa, I want to thank you so much for uh, coming on Chair Chats and sharing with us with us about cosplay and what, uh, how it brightens your life. Uh, and I'm so excited to have you on here. If you, the viewer, are watching this right now and are interested in checking out cosplay, you have a disability, Misa on Wheels on Facebook, if you look her up, that would probably be a great place to start um, and starting to build that. Did you wanna say any final words? Definitely. I would, I would definitely encourage that. I love chatting with people who are looking to get into the hobby or, you know, people that maybe have kind of fallen out of it or looking to, you know, I say like reignite the flame, the excitement of, you know, going, getting out there again and seeing people. I know, you know, with everything going on right now, we've kind of been isolated. A lot of, um, conventions unfortunately have gotten canceled but I feel like there's still been so much love and so much support and it's just it's really great to see yes and who says you can't have fun while in quarantine right <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> exactly I'd like to hear from you the viewer what lights you up what do you like to do for fun um, maybe it's cosplay maybe it's pottery maybe it's watching a uh, stand-up comedian, I don't know, but I'd love to hear from you um, because I think having fun is such an important part of living because um, who doesn't want to live if you're not having fun? So um, I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chair Chats. I'd like to remind you to please subscribe and share. I'd also invite you to my private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. And if you like what you see, please support us at patreon.com forward slash one leg up productions. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, be blessed. Mm -hmm.